Hello, it's Karen here with July's UK Scrap Addicts page and this month the theme is to make your own embellishments. So I have this and these which a friend gave me a while ago and it's called an eye top and it actually makes brads. I don't know that they make it anymore so this is a little brad that I've had a practice making um, so I'm going to make some brads with that but although this machine has been discontinued I believe we are memory keepers have a new one out called a button maker and so that makes the same thing I've put some pages out of an old novel and I'm going to um, punch some flowers out of those and use the flowers and the brads as my embellishments. The paper I'm using this month is a Bella Boulevard one and it's called Cooper and it's all the pages that are pieces that I've got are all um, dog themed because I wanted to do a page of my puppy Darcy Doodle. Um, this one here has um, a couple of holes in and that's because with the eye top you get these punches that punch out the correct size to go on the brads so that's why it's got a couple of holes in because I've been practicing and also I have lots of um, bits and bobs from the embellishment pack so I should be using those I started by um, drawing a grid on my page and the lines are um, so this is one and a half four and a half seven and a half ten and a half and the same the other way around and I've drawn them in pencil but I'm going to go over them freehand in pen so they are not um, as precise as if I used a ruler I might um, do a bit of doodling on the lines later when I've decided exactly what I want to do. I'm now going to cut um, some two and three quarter inch squares from my patterned paper and I decided I wanted a title in one square, I want three photographs and some journaling in another square so that will be um, five out of the nine squares so I only need four pieces of pattern paper. I have my title that I've made on my silhouette. I have four pieces of paper and three photographs so I'm going to arrange those on my page. Once I've stuck those down, I'm going to make some more brads and then add my flowers and some bits from the embellishment.
I've made five of my brads and I'm just about to make the last one. just need to punch out some flowers now. The last for my flowers to make so I've used this punch to punch the flowers out. I'm just putting three together, popping a brad in the middle. Scrunching the paper around and then that's my last flower. I've decided on the placement of my flowers for the time being but I might change my mind. So I'm going to pop them on with some foam pads. And then get on with adding my embellishments don't have um, a brad maker like I used you could always buy some of those buttons that you cover with fabric and cover those with paper pack I've sorted out some dogs hearts um, clouds uh, paw prints and trees and I'm going to build up some little clusters on the um, pattern paper
here is my finished layout with my <coughs> journaling that I did on my silhouette plus my little title my homemade brads and book paper flowers So thank you for joining us on this video, um, come back soon because there will be more videos and more layouts that the very talented UKSA design team have made and until next month, bye!